Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome in. Take a seat and get comfortable. Hope you're all having an absolutely magical day so far. It's great to have you all here. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. So, on today's video, uh, we're going to be checking out a band called Crown and Scepter, and specifically we're going to be checking out their brand new track, which came out about a week ago, give or take, um, and that track is called This Weight, featuring abs. So, um, this is the this is the first time these guys have been on the channel. They hit me up um, sometime sometime last year, um, and they said, "Hey, we really like your content. Um, if you don't know who we are, we're Crown, Crown and Scepter, five piece metalcore band hailing from the Green Bay. We released a released a track. Well, well, would you like to do a reaction video for 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 our stuff?" So I checked out. Um, so I checked out um, the debut track. I, I'm sure these guys have probably got some other stuff. Hidden away on like the like the you know like the like the you know the Spotify or their Bandcamp or something like that. But um, I checked out um, their last release, which was called One and the Same. Because something that I like to do around here, I don't I don't fake my reactions. Um, so the first so so the so the first time um, when I'm reacting to the track, it's the first time I've heard it, um, and so we're kind of experiencing it at the same time. And also as well, I don't uh, do reaction videos for bands if I don't actually like the music. So usually, what happens is I'll check out some of their songs if I'm if, if I'm if I'm if I'm you know if the if the if the vibes are good if I'm if I'm digging the music then I'll do the reaction. So I checked out one and the same. Um, really enjoyed it. And this is a guy. This is coming from a guy who whose um, focus isn't usually metalcore. I like metalcore. Uh, metalcore kind of falls into the slam category for me, where I like listening to it, but it's not like my it's not my main focus. I don't know if I would want to listen to like you know hours and hours of metalcore in the same way I wouldn't lo want to listen to hours and hours of like you know slam or porno grind or grindcore or something like that. I appreciate them, but not my not not my not really my area of expertise and not really my you know my my main interest. Um, but I really liked one and the same. Um, we're going to listen to that just so everyone knows what they're getting themselves uh, in for. And then, uh, yeah, then we'll check out this. Wait, they asked me to do a reaction for One and the Same, but I'd already checked it out because that was the song that got me into them in the first place. And I was like, well, not can't do that one, but I'll definitely, definitely do the next one. And, uh, and here we are. So, uh, yeah, intro out of the way. Let's check out One and the Same. I'll say a couple of things about it. I'm not going to like do a full reaction for it because obviously I've heard this track a bunch of times, but this will uh, get everyone on the same page. So uh, introducing Crown and Scepter, one and the same. Let's go.
a hell of a good track. It's a hell of a good track. Uh, a, 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 a few things that, that stand out to me. Um, the first one is... Um, <clears throat> It, it puts the core in metalcore, but not in terms of like chunky, like chunky breakdowns, more in the very, very sporadic song structure. You can never quite tell what's coming next with that track. That, that's one of the things about metalcore that kind of puts me off. It gets a little bit formulaic, same with Slam, same with Porno Grind, like same with, you know, I've got kind of my, my favourite genres up here, I've got like my kind of like midland ones down here, and now I've got the ones I really don't have much you know, gore noise and all that. If you've, if you've, if you've never heard of that, thank, thank yourself lucky. <laughs> um, but this is, um, yeah, this is not formulaic. Um, and the clean vocals, listening to it there, it, it reminded me slightly of, I tell you what, actually, I'll go back, I'll go back, see if I can isolate the, the bit. I think he sounds a little bit like the Silverstein vocal, the vocal, the 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 cleans that the the, the 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 guy from Silverstein does. I don't even I've not thought about Silverstein for a really long time to be honest. That's really nostalgic for me. Um, I don't even know if they're still a thing. They might have changed a vocalist, but like in terms of um, let me actually let me just um, just rather obsessively. Um, there was a particular album, Discovering the Waterfront. Wow, that t- all the way back in two thousand and five. Jeez, oh, jeez, oh, that's a blast from, blast from the past. But with the distortion and the guitar there, he sounded. It reminded me of the vocalist from Silverstein, and that's a compliment, by the way. I I really enjoyed the cleans in this. They weren't overly nasally. There's a there's a thing that some metalcore bands are doing these days where it's. They're just, they seem to be having a competition, but just see who can sing more from the nasal passage and who can sing in the highest register possible. Not not a fan of it at all. Not a fan of it. It's difficult. I couldn't do it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, it's just personal preference. I don't really like it. I don't really like it like that. But there was a nice, nice tone to the vocals there. And the, um, wasn't expecting the blur as well. Like the, 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 the very heavy blur at the end of the breakdown. And the breakdown was really stripped back as well. I expected it might be one of those kind of like, like one of those types of like, kind of like, and kind of how architects sometimes do breakdowns, you know? I expected it to be more like that, but it was actually really brutal. And like the, like the heavy vocals were like, not like, okay, it's a, said it's a metalcore guy trying to do some heavies. It was like, no, it was like, like, really heavy and it was it, it was yeah it's surprisingly stripped back and not kind of like overly um overly yeah kind of predictable it was a lot more yeah just i, I can't quite come up with a word but it was it, it was very 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 raw very stripped back it was it was good it was good lot, lots of lots of surprises um so let's um let's see i don't know who the fuck abs is by the way i don't know i don't know who that's featuring uh, who that's supposed to be but we're gonna find out this weight featuring abs, crown and scepter. Got my pen, got my vape, ready to take some notes. Let's fucking do this. <laughs>
Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Crown and Scepter. This weight featuring abs. Okay. Uh, that was fucking brilliant. That was really, really good. What what a level up from the from the from the from the previous song. Um, 
so different in tone as well. It, where do I where do I start with this one? Okay, so I've got a bunch of timestamps here that I want to get back that that I want to that I want to go to. Um, but first, okay, okay, those. <clears throat> okay, so here, here's what here's what I thought the deal was. Okay, when th when the clean started, I thought that was abs, which kind of sounded strange because because with a voice like that, you would you'd be called something closer to like I I don't know I I I don't know, but you wouldn't be called you wouldn't be called that, you know. I kind of thought like okay, so 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 this guy that's got this type of a powerful voice, like like, like you you would you would hear vocals like that on like a Metal Blade Records release or something like that. It had a very grandiose, almost kind of like fantasy quality to it. Like like it was, you can imagine that you can imagine that guy like doing a song with like with something that doesn't really sound anything like that that. That you know, that like you know, not a metalcore band, you know, like a like a symphonic rock band or something like that, you know, like Nightwish or something, or just if you don't know what I mean, just go onto Metal Blade Records and just have a through a, a flick through that. They do a lot of fantasy themed um, metal, lots of like Viking stuff, lots of stuff that actually, to be fair, isn't metal at all. But I feel that it's still on our side. I don't know. That's, that's a com that's a conversation for a different day. Um, so I thought that was going to be the guy that was in brackets and the and the song title. But now I'm thinking it was the female vocalist at the end. So my question is, does that does that mean so 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 does that mean that So those cleans and these ones. Hold on, let me get to it. Did you guys get a new vocalist or something for that? Because like like if that's if that's the same if that's the same vocalist, cool. But I would bet a fair old bit of money. I'd give you some good odds on that being a different vocalist. I wonder if they changed or they swapped out the other guy and then put someone else in. Interesting. It, it, it it's it, it's it's interesting. But I I can't speak highly enough about those about those vocals. Um, I I kind of. Yeah, like a yeah, like an, a, a a very strong kind of like storytelling robe wearing type vibe that you would get in more kind of like fantasy based music, and the whole tone of that was so different from the first track as well. Is it these 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 guys? These guys. All right, all right. I see you. I see you. Um. So the first bit I want to get to is just how much more vast this song sounded than um than 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 one and the same. Um. Good example of it here. That is vast, like that's a really vast sound. You can that that, that stretches all the way to the to the horizon. You know, like it's really really vast sound. I love it. Um, This 
the types of vocals that you would expect if you were if you were expecting a metalcore band would be maybe some some vocal fry, maybe some false chord, maybe like slightly lower register, maybe even some like shouted style vocals, like they did in the like they did in one and the same. But you wouldn't expect those vocals in a in, in a in a track like this. Or I wouldn't. Maybe I need to listen to more metalcore. But that's a curveball, and I love it. Whoever's whoever's got the pipes, keep them keep keep them on board. Make sure he's got plenty to eat and drink. Keep that keep that dude around. Okay, right. Next part I want to highlight. We'll get to that breakdown, but what one what, one what interesting section. It goes a bit digitally and then goes very strange vibes. I wouldn't know whether to call that major or minor. I wouldn't know whether to call that epic. I don't know. It's just 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 it, it, it's it's throwing me off. Such a, such a such an interesting track. So many shifts in tone. Like, if you just dropped into that, you would think, like, if you just heard that little bit in isolation, you'd be like, okay, that sounds like something that, like, Bring Me the Horizon would release. You know, like, th- this version of Bring Me the Horizon. Not not old school Bring Me the Horizon, obviously. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10 for creativity. And again, keeping the listener guessing. Not becoming, you know, predictable. Very, very good. Okay, next section here. Gorgeous voice. I, I, I presume that must be Abs. Um, yeah, but short for Abby or Abigail or something. Um, gorgeous voice, and it doesn't it doesn't overindulge as well. Like it goes on for I think it's I think it's exactly thirty seconds. That's just the amount of time you need for the for the for the feature. You don't want like the you don't you don't want like the um, the support act trying to get you know like, like the you know the, the the comedian that comes on before like you know the main comedian you don't want that guy trying to like upstage the the main act so to speak um but yeah yeah b- beautiful voice and um yeah just nicely nicely placed very good very very good and then the last section here that I want to highlight and then we can we can we can wrap this uh, wrap this shit up <laughs> Yeah, I, again with a with a with a guitar work from um yeah, for, but that's something that I, I don't know if I actually said about one in the same, but the the guitar work is really really good, really di- really distinctive, and not just and not just trying to like 
show off his sweet picking skills. Like sometimes you you get that. I think that's more that's more maybe a maybe a, a deathcore problem where solos now in some deathcore bands like like some deathcore bands do it really really good. Like there's a, 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 my my boys Unhallowed Void. Um, Luke and uh, Dave are two phenomenal guitarists, and that gets really techy. But it get, but it doesn't sound like a guy just doing scales or just trying to show off. It's got like soul to it. Um, but there are some other techy deathcore bands where it's like, okay, you your playing's really good, but it's not memorable. I can't really remember, you know, remember what you played. But there, there wasn't there wasn't any of that. Obviously, there's a different style of music. But yeah, it didn't. Not too indulgent. No, like you know, thirty. You know, no, like you know, notes held for like fifteen seconds while the guitarist is like that. You know, you know that type of stuff. Like you know, t- take it, taking his shit way too fucking seriously. You know, just the right amount. There was there was a lot to that track, and all of it was put in the right place. Lots of good ideas formed, in my opinion, correctly um, throughout the uh, throughout the song. Um, I'm I'm overly impressed with that. I'm really really am. I expected it to sound quite a bit, you know like quite quite similar to the last track, which you know it's not the best song I've ever heard in my life or anything, but it was it was good. But they turned a corner on that one for sure. That 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 vast sound, the um the the main guy doing the vocals, um the I mean I say I'll say it a second time. Really vast sound, like really like really very very, very landscapey, um. The, the female vocals put in there, um, the little digital bit, um, how catchy it was. Yeah, yeah. Keep it up. Keep it up, guys. That was that was really that was really, really good. I knew I was I had a good I had a suspicion I was gonna enjoy that, but I did not expect it. But just being totally honest, I didn't expect to enjoy it that much. I, I, I didn't expect to be that impressed. So um Yeah. Let's uh let's let's uh let's wrap it up. That was fantastic. So as per usual, if you scroll down, you'll find links to uh the song we just listened to, which was on their YouTube channel. Um, I'll link both of their both of their singles so you can check them out. Um, check them out again. Um, I'll link the uh, social medias. You know, Facebook, um, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. You know. All that, all that shit. Go follow them and all that. That really helps. Um, go buy some merchandise. Um, I'll put. Oh god, I am absolutely fucking this up. Okay, let's start again. <clears throat> I will also be putting a link to their merchandise. Um, a really good way to support bands is to buy merch. If you can't actually get out to see them, obviously I'm in Scotland. These guys are in America, somewhere. I can't quite remember where. Um, I, I, I want to say I'm, I'm gonna have to. Actually, I'm gonna have to actually check because that's gonna that's gonna annoy me. Um, Green Bay, WI, is it WI? Hmm. I'm not good. At, is that Wichita? I've got no idea. So sorry, sorry, if I, so, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not good with my American states. Um, but um, yeah, obviously, I can't get over to America to see them. So that you know, buying some merchandise is a really good way to support. And I also have all the streaming stuff. You know, the uh, every band, ev- basically every band that I encounter now. They all have Spotify, Apple Music, just everything that you you know, just where, wherever you get your wherever you get your music and your podcast from, you'll be able to find these guys. Just do whatever you can to support because that's the second single and it's really it was really ambitious and it's really really good and it's a lot of fun to listen to. And um, yeah, expect to see these guys back on the uh, back back on the uh, back on the channel in the uh, the not too not too distant future whenever they release their next track. Hopefully, it's not. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't take too long. So uh, one more time, Crown and Scepter. The weight featuring abs. I was really, really impressed by that. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um, love you all very much. Take it easy, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>